This is Jackie Helvey and I'm here with Heather Washburn who has this wonderful event that she has started doing out here um, off of Smith Level Road. So Heather, hey! Hi! Thank you? you, I'm good. And I'm, like I said, I've been seeing your signs and I just wanted to know more about your market because uh, oh, yeah. it looks really great. So first tell people a little bit about yourself and then sure. tell us about the market. So I'm an architect and artist. Um, I have a firm called Calico Studio that's based here in Chapel Hill and we're sitting in part of the studio. Uh, we have about 10 acres of land nice. and, um, and so we call it the Calico Campus. And the artist side of the house is that um, I'm a member of the Orange County Artist Guild and I am also a voluntary board member for the Chatham Artists Guild. Oh, nice. uh, they had welcomed me with open arms when I moved back to North Carolina in 2015. Uh -huh. And so established the architecture firm, needed a little bit of time to establish myself again as an artist. And um, in it, we started doing markets. Uh, uh, Calico would be out um, over in Durham. Uh, not so much here, and but we did Eno Fest, and then when um, COVID hit, everything stopped. Um, and I had started talking to my artist peers of like, so what are you doing? Because we were getting restless. Right. Um, I, in the architectural world, you have downtime, and um, I use uh, the create sort of the art side as a place to a sandbox. To play in and mm -hmm. so a lot of the things that I'm doing there I'm kind of mulling through ideas and making things like our earrings and purses and all that kind of stuff and I had no venue to sell them and so it didn't make much sense to make them um, this and stuff so, is just stacking up yeah, somewhere yeah mm -hmm. so at the um, in the end of 2020 um, I started talking to my friends in Chatham and also in orange and said hey what do you think if we did an outdoor market i have room i have a front field um and i think that that's a good idea so I definitely want to be safe with covid and so i started um just con making contact with my world in wholesale i had friends that had done outdoor markets there um, my neighbor down the street knew the ins and outs of Chapel Hill, kind of what you can and can't do. Mm -hmm. And so it seemed really possible. So I put out the feelers. I only invited artists that I knew um, and we kept it small. We had 10 feet in between the tents and one way flow, called in favors of friends that played music. <laughs> and so that was last spring mm -hmm. and it went really well. And even the first day, it was kind of raining a little bit. We still had turnout. Um, so then I uh, said, okay, so that worked. The artist said, are you going to do it again? And I was like, well, yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe we do it in the fall and start to establish this rhythm of finding that pocket in the springtime before things really get going. Mm -hmm. And in the fall when things start to close down, but football really hasn't started yet. Right. And so last fall, we landed on the first weekend in October. And in the spring, that um, the last or the third weekend in April seemed like that pocket. Mm -hmm. um, so now we are at 26 artists, um, and we can actually have the tents closer together. Mm -hmm. um, we have four musical acts. We have a great relationship with the Chatham Artist Guild who's sponsoring our art tent. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an art tent. It's not a craft tent um, because we're trying, it's all about building community. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing. Now, what are you gonna be doing in the art tent? We're going to have um, weaving in which we have professional artists that will be in the tent. Um, it's co-sponsored by the Chatham Artists Guild mm -hmm. um, and they're going to be doing dream catchers and this is for all ages so whether you're oh, a little nice. person or you're an adult um, it is a place for you to explore weaving and then we've got Kirst uh, Kristen Bergenston who is actually going to have a lap loom that's there so you can see how that type of weaving works um, and then the other art activity is going to be printmaking so block 
uh, block printing. And my mom is actually going to be in the tent. Oh, um, yeah? And again, it's... Ooh, what's your mom's name? Ray Bartlett, and she's actually based in Greenville, North Carolina. Oh, okay. So I'm hoping that I'll talk her and my dad into moving up here at some point, but you know, it, that's a longer uh, discussion. Right. <laughs> so now you said you moved back here. Where did you go to? Uh, I have been all over. Um, I went to school at NC State. Okay. Um, and I worked for Frank Harmon. Um, as an intern architect and when I graduated in 1999 um, my husband and I we took off for Boston mm -hmm. and we were there for seven years and he is in startups by uh, computers mm -hmm. um, and had the opportunity to go to California so we went to California and then the first company got bought by Microsoft and so we were in San Diego for nice. I think nine months before we moved to Seattle Wow. <laughs> and then we were in the Seattle area, actually Redmond, um, for eight years. Mm -hmm. And again, opportunity arose to be able to come back and be closer to both of our families in North Carolina. Right. So we moved back in 2015. Well, that's great. Now, um, about your market, yeah. tell people the dates and the times. Yes. So this weekend, it's uh, the Saturday, the 23rd, and Sunday, the 24th, mm -hmm. and the hours are 10 to 5. We have parking, free parking on site. It's free to come in. Um, and again, we have uh, 26 vendors that are um, made up of Orange County Artist Guild members, artists, uh, Chatham uh, County Artist Guild members, and then we also have... Um, uh, a couple of um, my brother-in-law is coming in from Hendersonville, North Carolina, bringing his fresh rainbow trout. Oh! Yes, and we have uh, the biscuit company is going to be in, and then we just recently, you'll have to check our Instagram feed because we've got a local farm that is actually going to have, a, um, I think it's called Three Sisters Farm. Basically. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they're joining us. And then we've got new artists um, that have not been with us before. And we have artists that are coming back that have been in the last two. And the address is? 1141 Smith Level Road. Okay. Now, um, can you tell us about what type of artists, the different stuff yeah. that they make? So we've got potters. Um, mm -hmm. In which uh, some of the potters are um, like your everyday wear, your mugs, your plates, bowls. We've got other potters that are a little bit more whimsical. Um, you might have heard of Kathy Kiffney. Oh yeah, uh, she will be with us. I've got I've gotten several of her pieces, Kathy's, yeah, yeah, yeah. over the years. Um, Dee Dee uh, um, Robinson. Oh man, if I messed that up. You said uh, Ronan Peterson. He's got some mm -hmm. really cool stuff too. Yeah. And who else do we have? I have to try to keep all of these folks in mind. And we also have painters. Um, oh, we have a new glass artist, Louise um, Hobbs. I will have jewelry and her glass bowls. Mm -hmm. um, this one I want cat my sidekick. Oh, see, she's such a good sidekick. Oh, is that the list? Yeah. Is yeah. Emily out here? Uh, Emily Eve um, Weinstein. Mm -hmm is uh, she has a booth, she's been in all three. Mm -hmm. um, Forrest Greenslade. Oh yeah, uh, he's, he's also a good friend of ours. Yeah, so he, uh, we have one of his um, swallowtail butterflies in our mm -hmm. butterfly garden. And he will be here, Vita Beth Benson. Oh yeah. Um, she's gonna be right next to Forrest. Vivian Blanco mm -hmm. is jewelry. Um, we've got a couple of new folks, um, Adam Casey who's like a, an illustrator, um, uh, 2D artist. Mm -hmm. um, Amy Irish, um, I don't know if you've seen her around, but she has mm -hmm. beautiful, colorful pottery. And then we've got um, Molly Freeman, textiles, Jess Sanford, um, jewelry, Roberta Mascara. Um, I'm sure you have seen her mm -hmm. around. She is she makes she's very well known mm -hmm. um, and then who else do we have Deborah Harris 
another potter, mm -hmm. Rick Harbour. He is a leather worker. Oh, nice. Um, and he is actually one of the mentors for our emerging artists. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have Sherry Westmoreland, um, who's a potter. Mm -hmm. Eva Green, um, and she does basket weaving. Um, mm. And that will be, um, I love her baskets. You can usually see her at the Durham uh, Farmer's Market. Mm -hmm. And uh, her first time joining us was last fall. Um, and I think she sold out of her baskets. Uh, Sue Jen Snyder is a jeweler. And then she also has like household goods that are brightly colored, um, but have like a little bit of a modern flair to them. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah Rose Glickman. I think I've covered everybody. Yes. Um, Angela Eastman and Victoria McDonald. Those two. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, it sound, and, and what kind of music or do you have um, coming in? So a good buddy of mine, um, Albert McDonald, his um, uh, group is called Fallow Ground. Mm -hmm. And they will be playing first on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be followed up by Show. Mal? Rhonda Robichaux? Yes, mm -hmm. Rhonda Robichaux, and we're very excited. We feel like we're, like, growing. Even right, now. right. And then Sunday is Leah Magner and the Carborough Jazz Ensemble. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. It sounds like it's going to be a great weekend. Yes. Yeah, and, and the weather looks like it's going to be gorgeous. Perfect. It, yep. You know, I mean, I think today's just a perfect day, so if that can continue through the weekend that'll yes. be great for you guys that's what i keep monitoring yeah well, <laughs> not a lot you can do about it though I you know, know. well know. thank you so much for meeting with me and telling us a little bit about yeah. what's going on and i hope that this will help bring some folks out for you i hope so too and we just want to keep growing and bringing community together so. fantastic <laughs> thank you thank you